Word. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 3697, the Criminal Alien Gang Member Removal Act. I introduced this bill with Chairman Goodlatte and Representatives Comstock and King for a very simple reason. The United States is facing an ever-growing danger from transnational gangs, and U.S. Immigration and Enforcement, better known as ICE, needs more tools to deal with this danger. The federal government's most important responsibility is the safety and security of the American people. However, we're not fulfilling that responsibility when we allow gangs to illegally enter our country with the express purpose of victimizing innocent Americans. In communities across our country, transnational gangs are using violence and the threat of violence to create a climate of fear that allows them to operate with near impunity. They regularly target local business owners and law enforcement officials. Innocent bystanders, those unlucky enough to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, are also paying a price. According to ICE, these gangs, quote, have grown to become a serious threat in American communities across the nation, not only in cities, but increasingly in suburban and even rural areas and entire neighborhoods and sometimes whole communities are held hostage by and subjected to their violence, end quote. Furthermore, ICE has found that, quote, membership of these violent transnational gangs is comprised largely of foreign-born nationals, end quote. The most infamous transnational gang, of course, is MS-13, which entered the U.S. in the 1980s. Today, it has over 10,000 gang members operating inside the United States alone. At every level, our enforcement officials are working to curb this growing with large-scale enforcement actions. These include Operation New Dawn, which netted almost 1,100 arrests over a six-week period. However, we all know that prosecution of criminal gang members is notoriously difficult. This is because victims and witnesses of gang crime are often reluctant to testify because of the quite reasonable fear of retaliation against them or their families. Thus, many gang members are never convicted of the crimes they have, been com they have committed. The question is often asked, why should law-abiding Americans have to wait until an alien gang member has committed a deportable offense? Why not deport the gang member before he has a chance to victimize more innocent people? The answer is that current immigration law contains dangerous loopholes that alien gang members are exploiting. Currently, an alien may not be deported even if he's known to be a member of a criminal gang or par participating in gang activities. ICE must wait for the gang member to be first convicted of a deportable offense. H.R. 3697 changes that. For the first time, ICE will be permitted to place alien gang members into removal proceedings on the grounds of being criminal gang members. Our bill sets out clear specifications for what crimes are considered to be gang-related, relying on longstanding federal criminal law to determine what a gang or group consists of. In addition, our bill permits the Secretary of Homeland Security using procedures already used by the Secretary of State to designate a gang as a criminal gang. This would be done in a transparent way through notification to Congress and publication in the Federal Register and with meaningful judicial review. The conclusive decision as to whether to place an alien in removal proceedings would rest with the Department of Homeland Security. And when an alien is charged, the charge must be proven by evidence on the record in the immigration court. I have heard some uneasiness that ICE will use these provisions to charge any alien they encounter with gang activity. Our bill does not allow that. As a former immigration attorney, I know the importance of due process. And know how important it is for legal immigrants and for Americans and everyone within the jurisdictions of the immigration court to receive due process. And I can tell you that our bill is consistent with due process. Under H.R. 3697, ICE has the burden of proof when charging an alien with a deportable offense. And while the alien has the burden of proof when they are inadmissible, a denial of gang membership should be sufficient to shift the burden back to the government. The government must convince an immigration judge of its case. And of course, an alien order removed as a gang member has every right to appeal that order to the Board of Immigration Appeals and then to the federal courts. Ultimately, 
H.R. 3697 is about providing law enforcement with the necessary tools to combat gang activity in every community in our country. This is essential if we as elected officials are committed to our responsibility to keep the American people safe and secure. That is the purpose of H.R. 3697. This is the third time this year the House is holding a floor vote on portions of the Davis-Oliver Act, which I introduced back in May, to make our country safer through stronger immigration enforcement. I am proud that the House passed the first two bills that came from Davis-Oliver, Kate's Law and the No Sanctuary for Criminals Act, and I encourage my colleagues to vote for H.R. 3697 as well. We must take action now or watch crime rates rise in our nation. There is no place in our country for criminal alien gang members, and any legislation which makes it easier to deport them deserves the support of every member of this body. I urge all of my colleagues